I was asked by my dentist, who's a really great guy, love you Dr. T, to make a piece for his sensei, I think that's the right word, in Taekwondo, so Grandmaster is having his 50th anniversary coming up of being a teacher, and we came up with a really awesome idea. We are going, I, or I'm making what I refer to as a mixed media plaque or sign, if you will. So, I found this really nice piece of wood at Lowe's. Everything up here, there's a reason why I've chosen the materials that I've done. So the idea is, is we're going to have an acrylic edgelet piece right in the middle and I'll get to the CAD here in a minute so this is going to get cut to 21 inches I'm going to have an engraved LED edgelet sign the acrylic is going to go in a pocket in here and then we're going to I'm going to stain the wood and V carve into it so we get the contrast it's going to be a dark stain and then the V carve is going to cut through that and you'll be able to see the letters and I'm going to have, like I said, the LEDs around the outside circle so this glows. And then I've got some aluminum bar here. I'm going to have holes drilled all the way through that's going to thread into these. And these are going to be standoffs. So it's going to stand it off the wall about an inch to about an inch and a half maybe. And I'm on the back side of this piece of wood, I'm going to cut channels around about an inch or so in from the outside edge I'm gonna put another strip of LED lights all the way around the backside shining at the wall and the standoffs are going to stand it off from the wall so it'll look like the entire thing is just glowing on the wall so I've got a machine channels in the back for the LED strips to go inside and then this set of LED strips is for the acrylic that I'm going to engrave and cut and then I've got some of these anodized aluminum discs that a really good friend of mine Paul gave me appreciate you Paul and I'm going to drag engrave into these certain elements for the entire design and these are going to sit in pockets that go over the holes where the bolts are going to go into the standoffs and like I said everything that I've chosen chosen for a specific reason even down to this piece of wood so this is one of those pieces of wood that's just been cut and glued together and I love the way this looks I don't know what it's gonna look like when it's stained if you'll be able to see the different patterns but there's a symbol behind that and I love the fact that I'm gonna hopefully be able to keep this but there's a crack all the way through it and what I'll probably do is when it's all said and done, I'll just put some clear epoxy in that crack just to hold it together so it doesn't continue. But I'm kind of hoping I can probably get a little bit of the back LED sign or the back LEDs on the wall. Maybe possibly shine through that. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out how to orientate it to where I can keep the crack. Because the circle is going to be about 10 inches in the middle of this for the acrylic. So I'm just going to have to play with it. But the idea behind this is I love how small pieces can come together to make a larger strong piece of material. So that's kind of the symbolism behind that. The... Even, even to the wire the braided cord that I'm going to use to hang this on the wall my plan is it's the two standoffs that are up here I'm going to cross drill then I'm going to drill and tap the back side of it so the cord can go through a hole and maybe even go from here to here with set screws to hold the cord in place and if it ever needs to be adjusted you want it higher or lower you can loosen those pull the the braided cord through it to bring it up on the wall but I my vision is I want to be able to see the braided cord as it's hanging from the wall and like I said symbolism behind this is one small strand is weak 
but if you take a bunch of different strands or facets of your life, weave them together, you can become strong. So that's kind of the thought pattern behind that. I'm gonna, those are the stains I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a technique that I like to do to where I'm gonna stain it the dark color. Then I'm gonna take the red stain. I'm going to not necessarily draw a pattern, but I'm gonna loosely put a pattern with the red. I'm gonna let it soak into the wood. And then when I wipe it off, the pattern is there, but it's really hard to see. And my idea or my hope is after it's all said and done, the pattern I have a feeling is just going to kind of disappear with the engraving that we're going to have on it. But somebody can walk up and say, and if you look here, you can see this outline of something. I have an idea what I want to do, but so we'll just have to see how that turns out. It may turn out, it may not. I've had a little bit of success with it in the past. So let's get over here and look at the CAD to give you a better idea. So this is that board stained and then cut through we have the seven pennants of taekwondo here and the idea behind having this is when this piece is given to the grand master i want it to look like or have a visual representation of who this man is so here we can see the cutout for the circle which is going to be that it's going to be engraved into the acrylic so it'll glow when the leds are turned on and one of his sayings is practice does not make perfect and then if we're over here if we look it says perfect practice makes perfect so here is the two and a half inch circles and the holes through it for those other plates to fit into and we have the seven pennants uh that he lives by and he teaches by. And then if we come over here and look at this, here is what the entire design I'm hoping is gonna look like. So we have the seven tenants and we have those here that are gonna be cut and these are gonna be drag engraved into the aluminum. So you'll have, I'm gonna have a red one here and a red one here and the rest of them are gonna be black. We have Grandmaster's name, his 50th year. This is going to be a, a gift to him for his 50th anniversary of teaching. And then we have the Korean flag and we have the American flag. Like I said, these are all going to be engraved on those aluminum discs. And the back pocket of this so this circle here is about what you're going to see and the acrylic is going to extend out here in a pocket so I can line it with LEDs and still fasten it to the backer wood piece. So this is going to be one of those multi-video projects. I'm really excited to see how this is going to turn out. I've got a lot, a lot of work to do, not a lot of time to do it. And then when it's all said and done, without the acrylic or the aluminum discs in there, I'm going to polyacrylic the wood so one, it gives it a protection. It won't fade in the sun if they happen to put it somewhere to where it gets direct sunlight. That's the plan. I'm excited about it. I'm going to have to trim this board down to measurements. This piece is going to be just a little bit bigger than what my machine can do. So I am going to have to arrange it to where I can possibly might have to do this unless I can figure out a way to make it all fit. But I'll have to cut half of it, loosen the material, slide it forward, re-zero the machine, then cut the bottom half of it. We'll see. We'll play with it and take you along for the ride. Video one of this series.